uh, came to speak to us about next week, we're gonna have Just Say No Week. Does anybody know why we have that? No? Well, maybe we can find out. But before we get started with that, let's start with our pledges, okay? So let's have everybody stand up, and we have some fifth graders that are gonna help us with the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible for liberty and justice above, or for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. I am me. I make mistakes, that's okay. I am growing and changing. I am learning. I am important. Every year my hand will grow and every year the more I know. These five fingers are the keys for just how uh, bright my future will be. is represented here today. We have the Air Marine Operations that are here today. We have Wesico Police Department that is here today, and we also have the Wesico Fire Department that is here with us today, okay? So everybody, these are all leaders in the community that have come together to tell us and to show us how important it is to stay drug free, okay? So that's part of what Just Say No is all about. So, We'll, we'll have our first guest speaker who will be uh, maybe our female pilot. Her name is Zoe Cunningham. She's going to come up and she's going to speak to us real quick. All right. Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Are you good? Awesome, awesome. So like she said, my name is Zoe and I'm the pilot of the helicopter out there. So who likes helicopters? Everybody. Awesome. Does does anybody here does anybody here want to be a pilot when they grow up? Oh wow, lots of hands. Awesome. Awesome. I see a few, I see a doctor over here, and I think I see a police officer dressed up as well. So, how do we, how do you guys think that you become a pilot when you grow up? How about you? How do you become a pilot when you grow up? You can say it. Oh, he's shy, okay. Who thinks that you have to go to school in order to become a pilot? You do, okay. How about if you want to become a doctor or a lawyer? Do you have to go to school for that? You definitely do. You have to do what? How do you, okay, that's a good question. How do you get a job? You gotta be quiet, shh. There you go, okay, so our question was, how do you get this job? So I had to go to school for a long time to get this job, and then I had to go through a lot of training to do it. Now, if I didn't go to school, or if I didn't do well in school, I wouldn't get to do something as cool as this. Do we have more questions? Yes, okay, go ahead. You wanna grow up to be a? 
A firefighter. Well, there are definitely firefighters here, so I'm going to let them answer that question for you. Any other questions for a pilot? Okay, how about you? Could I fly a jet with missiles? I guess I could. I could fly an airplane, but I fly helicopters right now. So what I'll do is I will let my crew member introduce himself really quick, and then we'll pass it on. Come here, Jody. Thank you guys. Thanks for having us out today. My name's Jody, and I'm a, I'm a crew member with Air and Marine. Ordinarily, I do what uh, my buddy here, Albert, does. I'm in the, in the Border Patrol, but I get to fly with Zoe and all the other pilots. We fly in uh, helicopters, airplanes, and if you're really lucky, sometimes you get to fly in a jet. You have a question? You want to be a pilot? That, that's a good career. Thank you. So. <laughs> what question do you have, buddy? Well, I'll tell you what, guys. It, thank, we're going to let Angel talk. Here, Angel. Angel has a question. Are you afraid of heights? No. Otherwise, I don't think I would be doing very good on a daily basis in there. But thank you guys for having us out. Um, looking forward to taking pictures. And you can ask questions at the helicopter if you want to. Thank you, guys. Okay, we also have uh, Albert Ortiz. Uh, he's gonna come up here and speak to you all real quick. He works for Border Patrol, so he'll give you all a quick rundown and then we'll get started with the tours. How y'all doing today? All right, really quick. Um, I used to work here at Memorial Elementary. I worked here, I was a security guard. And one day, Border Patrol came here and started talking to us and I heard I was like the like the teachers were and I got interested and I applied for it and I ended up being a Border Patrol agent. Best job I've ever had. Great job. Uh, really quick, guys, what you got to do is remember, always remember. One thing to remember is always if you need to talk to somebody or about something or anything, remember your teachers are always there. Your counselors are always there. Any problems here, at home, anywhere, you understand, you always have the teachers here. They're 80% with you for the rest of your life till you're 18 years old. I just want to say applaud the teachers for being here and making this go. Thank you, teachers. All right. Fire department, what's the go Y'all are good? Okay, we also have Officer Hinojosa. Uh, good morning. Once again, uh, my name is Officer Carlos Hinojosa. I am a police officer for the city of Westlaco. Uh, my two partners here are Officer Ponce and then my supervisor is uh, Sergeant Sandoval. Uh, real quick, boys and girls, in order for you guys to become what you want to be, is first of all, is stay in school. You need to come to school every single day. Get ready to learn, okay? Because I know a lot of you want to become police officers, a lot of you want to become firefighters, doctors, lawyers, whatever it is that you want to be. But in order for you guys to get there, you guys have to come to school, okay? And one of the main important things also is stay away from drugs. Stay away from those drugs. Those drugs are bad for you, okay? They're not, they're not good for you, they're bad for you, and you're not gonna achieve what you wanna become, okay? So once again, just stay away from those drugs. Thank you. Okay, thank you all very much. I think the, the gentlemen from the fire department are shy. Okay, but they are here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna set up so that we can uh, have a, a couple of tours. We can go and take pictures with the helicopter. We can take pictures with the fire truck, with the police car. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Listen, we're gonna do that by groups. So we're gonna have pre-K and kinder go to the helicopter first, okay? 
are having a Just Say No kickoff to get the kids ready for next week. Uh, Just Say No week, we're celebrating it all week long, so we have different activities going on next week, but we really wanted them to really remember what it was all about. So we kind of called some members of the community that help us keep drugs out of the community, right? So we called Border Patrol, we called the Fire Department, Wessica Police, Air and Marine Aviation. We called them in, so they brought in the, the helicopter. Education is the key, so the sooner and the earlier that you are educated and know about what you should do and shouldn't do, once they're embedded in your memory, they kind of help you to think about, okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. Or when I was young, I remember they said not to do this. And so hopefully the early awareness is what will help them stay away from it for life.